In a shocking turn of events, the upcoming BRICS meeting is now at the center of an unusual legal battle. The South African Opposition Party has made a daring attempt to arrest Russian President Vladimir Putin, which has sparked an international legal battle. The bold move has sparked a lot of talk and theories, putting the BRICS partnership in the spotlight around the world. As the whole world watches with bated breath, the stage is set for a high-stakes clash between justice and policy. This could have big effects on international relations, human rights, and the future of the BRICS alliance itself. In this interesting video, we get into the gripping story of the legal attempt to arrest Putin at the BRICS meeting, identifying the complex web of legal complexities, political tricks, and ethical choices that make up this first-of-its-kind showdown. In the midst of all the excitement and anticipation for the BRICS meeting, the South African opposition's bold legal attempt to arrest Russian President Vladimir Putin has shocked the rest of the world. What proof does the resistance have that they should be so brave? How will South Africa, as the host country, find a balance between doing the right thing and being diplomatic? And what could this high-stakes legal fight mean for the future of the BRICS alliance and for international relations in general? The South African Opposition Party started legal action, which is based on the idea of universal authority, which lets countries try people for serious crimes no matter where the claimed crimes happened. The opposition says that Putin's government has broken people's rights by putting down political protesters, censoring the media, and supposedly getting involved in foreign conflicts. But there are a lot of legal, diplomatic, and practical problems with trying to arrest Putin at the BRICS meeting. First, the idea of universal authority is not accepted by everyone. It can be interpreted in different ways and is affected by political factors. As the host country, South Africa needs to be careful with its legal responsibilities, diplomatic relationships, and any possible backlash from the other BRICS countries. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos in the future. The BRICS Summit also gives member countries a chance to strengthen their economic ties, talk about global problems, and work together. If a leader is arrested, it could change the purpose and atmosphere of the summit, which could hurt the BRICS alliance's goal of encouraging people to work together for their mutual gain. Threatening, right? The legal bid also shows the tensions that exist between law and politics. Holding people accountable for violating human rights is a good goal, but it's important to think about what it means to use foreign platforms for legal activism. Such actions can put a strain on relations between nations, cause political divisions, and even make it harder for the world to work together to solve urgent problems. The move also shows how hard it is for BRICS to work together. The BRICS countries are Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. They want to increase their economic power as a group, support cooperation, and balance the West's usual dominance. But the arrest attempt brings out underlying differences and possible disagreements between member countries, which could hurt the alliance's unity and stability. As the court bid goes on, it is important to think about the bigger picture and what could happen. The result will not only change how South Africa and Russia work together diplomatically, but it will also change how people see BRICS as a place for collaboration and world leadership. It could make member countries rethink the principles of the alliance and recommit to human rights and democratic ideals. The plan to arrest him could change the way the BRICS countries work together in the future. It raises questions about the alliance's shared beliefs, goals, and how well it works together. The reaction of member countries, the effect on economic cooperation and international decision-making, and the long-term effects on the BRICS alliance's trustworthiness and usefulness all need to be carefully looked at. Right? The arrest attempt has gotten a lot of attention from the media and is likely to change how people think about it. The way the case is covered in the media, both at home and around the world, can affect how people feel about human rights, democracy, and what world leaders should do. The effect of media coverage on popular opinion, both in South Africa and around the world, and the possible effects on political debate and decision-making are worth looking into more. The arrest attempt has wider geopolitical effects than just South Africa's foreign ties. It could make Russia's ties with South Africa, the other BRICS countries, and the rest of the world more difficult. The geopolitical effects of this case will depend a lot on how the other BRICS members and big world powers react. It also raises questions about how it might affect relationships, regional dynamics, and changes in the balance of power around the world. It's too baffling, right? 
all of the people involved in the legal bid face difficult legal and political problems because of the bid. It raises questions about how international law should be interpreted and applied, how easy it would be to arrest a head of state who is still in power, and what the diplomatic consequences of such acts might be. The legal and political issues involved in finding a balance between justice, diplomatic ties, and the way international institutions work should be looked into more. The legal attempt to arrest Russian President Vladimir Putin at the BRICS meeting will have effects that go beyond international relations and diplomacy. It could affect local groups in South Africa and other BRICS countries in different ways. The attempt to arrest someone and what happens after that can change how people think of South Africa as a place to hold foreign events. How the country handles the legal bid, makes sure everyone is safe and handles any problems that might come up will affect its image and trustworthiness. This could make it harder for local towns to host global events and conferences in the future, which could be good for their economies and tourism. Local economies could be affected by the result of the arrest attempt and any effects it has on the BRICS group. The BRICS countries are big players in global trade and investment, and any problems or changes within the group could affect trade relationships, economic partnerships, and investment flows. There may be indirect effects on local companies, industries, and workers from these changes in the economy. As the host country, South Africa may have chances to interact with representatives, participants, and tourists from other BRICS countries. This can help people from different cultures learn more about each other and appreciate differences. It can also lead to possible partnerships in arts, sports, education, tourism, and other fields. Overall, the effect on local communities will depend on how involved the public is, how politics work, what the economic effects are, and how well the arrest bid fits with the hopes and worries of people in these communities. It gives people the chance to learn more about global issues, talk about them, and take action on them. This gives local communities the power to play an active part in shaping the results and future paths of the BRICS Alliance and international relations as a whole. Also, this case shows how complicated it is for justice, politics, and international law to work together. Justice is important, but it must be matched with the needs of negotiation and the need for countries to work together in a positive way. Finding this balance takes careful thought and an understanding of the larger forces that shape world politics. As this high-stakes legal fight goes on, a lot of interesting questions come up that make us wonder what the future holds. Will the legal action taken by the South African opposition lead to more studies and possible legal actions against other world leaders who are accused of abusing human rights? How will the result of this case affect South Africa's and Russia's diplomatic ties, as well as the BRICS alliance as a whole? Can the BRICS summit handle this never-before-seen problem and still keep its focus on economic unity and world leadership? As long as these questions remain, the result of this first-of-its-kind legal bid will definitely change the path of the BRICS alliance and open up more conversations about justice, diplomacy, and how global politics and human rights affect each other. In the end, the legal attempt to have Russian President Vladimir Putin arrested at the BRICS meeting has put the alliance in the spotlight around the world. This bold move raises questions about the limits of international law, the tensions between justice and politics, and the effect on diplomatic ties within the BRICS alliance. As the court case goes on, the result will not only decide what will happen with the arrest warrant, but it will also affect how people see BRICS as a platform for global cooperation and leadership.